Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Nectar Premier mattress and seeing how that bed compares to the Dream Cloud mattress. So, if you didn't know already, these are two really popular online options that are, you know, great values, especially after discount. But why you should exactly get one over the other is kind of up for debate. They're pretty dang similar, but they're way different in a lot of retrospects. So, we're going to be talking everything that you need to know about these two options before you decide to buy them online for yourself, like the policies that they're backed by. We'll talk about the similarities between the two, talk about the differences, things like feel, firmness, and price. And then at the very end, I'll even sum things up with a nice final verdict for you. So, stick around. But if you happen to enjoy this video along the way, click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for a lot more reviews just like this. And feel free to hit that description box if you need any more information. But now let's get right into this one. At the slumber yard, you know we work real hard to find the right bed for you. Okay, so to start, I should mention that we did receive these beds for free from Nectar and DreamCloud to review over here so we could test them out for free and tell you guys all about them. But if you decide to get one for yourself, you should be getting completely free bed in a box shipping either way you go. This means that the mattress will arrive at your door, roll packed and compressed inside of a big box. And all you gotta do is just drag that box into your home and with the help of a friend, unbox your brand new bed, which is actually a lot of fun. We've unboxed hundreds of beds over here at the Slumber Yard. It never gets old. It's always really cool to see an entire mattress just inflate out of a smaller box. But once it's in your possession, you get an ample amount of time to try it out for yourself before you're stuck with it. You get a 365 night trial period with Dream Cloud and Nectar. So that's a full year to test the bed out at home risk free before you're stuck with it. And if within that time frame you find that it's not exactly right for you for whatever reason, you can get completely free returns with both. But hopefully it doesn't come to that and you enjoy your brand new Nectar Premier or Dream Cloud mattress. If so, they're both backed by forever warranties, which is above and beyond the usual industry standard of a mattress warranty, which is, I believe, around like 10 years or so. We'll try to link some more helpful details regarding this policy stuff in the description box. But now let's get into the main similarities between Nectar Premier and Dream Cloud. And I guess the biggest one in this case is that they're both available in either an all foam version or a hybrid model. So you have two different support options either way you go. The all foam versions of Nectar Premier and Dream Cloud are just going to be most suitable for supporting average or petite sized individuals. You know, if you are a heavier person like myself, say over the range of 200 pounds or up, you're probably going to want to look into getting a hybrid mattress that features support coils on the bottom rather than just dense foam. Pocketed coils are just really good at supporting a substantial amount of weight on a nightly basis. So if you are a bigger person and you want, you know, a mattress to support your body type, look into those hybrid versions. Now the pricing of those beds will vary based on the support option you go with, but still it's nice to have a choice here. In regards to feel, both have more of a memory foam sensation, but it is going to be kind of nuanced from bed to bed. The Nectar Premier has a viscous gel memory foam on top that's used for its primary comfort layer. And this in turn gives the bed more of a dense memory foam feel. I think when you hop on this mattress, you're going to find it to be really firm at first, but then you'll slowly see sink into that gel memory foam and it'll kind of carve around the shape of your body, kind of providing a little nook for your body to rest in. So if you're the type of sleeper who prefers sleeping on like a Tempur-Pedic mattress or that's something that you're kind of used to, definitely go the route of Nectar Premier. I don't think it's going to disappoint you in that regard. Now, in regards to these new Dream Cloud beds, the newer version of the Dream Cloud, we would say that they also feature a memory foam feel, but it's a lot more straightforward and a little bit more responsive than that of Nectar's. You're probably going to hop on these beds and find them to be pretty firm and also kind of providing a little bit of a sinking sensation for you, but it's not overwhelming at all. It might even feel more like a neutral hybrid bed if you decide to go with that hybrid version. The all foam version of the Dream Cloud is quite memory foamy. So if you're not a fan of memory foam, this might not be the most, you know, apt comparison for you. But if you're a big fan of memory foam, I don't think you can go wrong either way here. One of the major differences between these two is going to come down to firmness. Dream Cloud, you know, throughout the years has always been like a medium firmness, you know, to us on our firmness scale. These days, both versions of the Dream Cloud mattress are right in between a medium firm and a proper firm. So they are on the much firmer end of the spectrum. Because of this factor, we'd really only recommend the Dream Cloud beds, the newer versions, to strict back and stomach sleepers looking for a ton of nightly support rather than pressure relief. If you're in the market for pressure relief or you want more of a pressure relieving Dream Cloud, look into, you know, the Dream Cloud Premier or namely the Dream Cloud Premier Rest, those beds are quite soft. Now, Nectar Premier, on the other hand, both versions of this mattress sit at right around a proper medium on our scale. So they should be a little bit more suitable for all sleeper types, backside, stomach, and combination. If you're kind of unsure as to what firmness you'd prefer in your mattress, getting a bed with a medium firmness is always a safe way to go. It's just a general safe pick for a wide variety of sleepers out there. If you are looking for something a little bit firmer, maybe check out the flagship Nectar. That's gonna be around a proper medium firm. And then if you want something slightly 
softer than that, but not as soft as Nectar Premier. Look into the Nectar Premier copper bed. In terms of the stuff that couples might want to be aware of, like edge support, motion isolation, and temperature regulation, I would say that all this stuff is pretty much solid across the board for both of these options. You know, I think because of that memory foam feel, they're going to perform really well in terms of motion isolation or deadening cross mattress movement. Edge support should be just fine on either one of these. You know, you're going to get plenty of, you know, support along the perimeter of these beds. And temperature regulation is pretty much neutral across the board. Now let's get into pricing. How much are you going to be shelling out for the Nectar Premier or Dream Cloud beds when all is said and done? Keep in mind right up top here that pricing within the online space, you know, fluctuates often. So if this pricing is a little bit different as of when you're watching this video, that's our bad, but we should have whatever is most current and up-to-date linked down below in the description box for you. Earlier, I mentioned that the pricing is going to depend on the support option you go with. So the All Foam Nectar Premier in a queen size is going to run you right around the $900 range after discount, while the hybrid version is going for right around $1,100 these days. Nectar as a brand usually likes to run great discounts on their mattresses and even bundles in things occasionally like free sheet sets or pillows. So again, check in the description to see whatever's current. Now, in the case of the Dream Cloud mattress, these beds are going to be slightly more affordable than that of Nectar Premier. The all foam version of the Dream Cloud is going to run you right around the $900 range, while the hybrid version is surprisingly more affordable at around $800. Dream Cloud is another one of those brands that typically likes to run discounts on their mattresses. So again, check down below in the description to see whatever's current, but that's just about going to sum it up for this comparison between Nectar Premier and Dream Cloud. No matter which way you decide to go, you're getting two different support options that are offered at solid values for the level of quality that you're getting here. I would just say check out Nectar Premier if you want the slightly denser memory foam sensation in your bed, and you also want something that's around a medium. And then look into the Dream Cloud. If you want more of a straightforward memory foam feel, you want the firmer option between the two, and you want the slightly more affordable option between the two after discount. But you know, that's just our take on things. What is yours? You know, when it comes to this comparison, which option are you going to go with and why? Write us down below in the comments and let us know your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video and you maybe learned a little something today, like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel for a lot more and hit the description box for, you know, full written reviews and even those discount codes to help save you some money. But that's going to pretty much do it for this one. I'm JD, sleep right, sleep tight, and we'll see you next time. Like and subscribe.